Hey everyone, it's Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. Bosch came out with a new line of angle grinders that's specifically made to be used with their Bosch Core battery line. Now you can use them with the older batteries, but they're really going to gain a lot of power when you put them up with the new Core battery. So what we want to do is test this unit out against some of the other top performers on the market and also give you an idea of where this one's going to land in comparison. Now when we did that, we came up with some crazy surprises that even surprised us in some of our testing. So what we're going to do is go through how we did this stuff, what we did to test these things out, and just basically the models, a little bit of specifications, but we'll get into the testing really quick. First, this Bosch angle grinder is an 18 volt, four and a half inch, model number GWS18V-45C. Now, they have some other models out that are paddle uh, switches, and they also have some modes on the top. They have the Bosch Connect. This one is Bosch Connect ready. Look at this model before you buy it and figure out which one you actually want because there are some cool ones out there, but they're all going to basically have the same performance on high. So with that said, we compared it to the Hitachi 18 volt G18 DBAL, the Milwaukee 18 volt 2783-20, and the DeWalt FlexVolt 60 volt DCG414. Now the DeWalt is in a completely different level than the rest of these at 60 volt and it's also meant for some larger discs, but we wanted to put it in here just to show you what it's gonna do. And again, that's part of one of the surprises that we're gonna come up with later. So first we just started to use these angle grinders, wire brushing out some tube steel. Very simple, get, just getting ready to lay some welding beads. There was nothing to it. Each machine was used for about a minute on each side to clean up the steel. We then had one of our friends who had a kid here come in and put down some welding beads just practicing, trying to teach him how to do it. So none of these welding beads that we're going to go over uh, on this piece of metal are consistent at all. But with that said, there's three beads throughout the whole thing. We started out with the Hitachi and it did well. It's got a 6.0 amp hour battery on the back of it, does have a paddle switch. Everything on this machine is as you would expect from a nice battery operated grinder. It did seem to lag a little bit, but we got about six inches worth of grinding done until the battery cut out. Now that's two minutes of grinding on these welds in that six amp hour battery was completely dead. We moved on to the Bosch and <clears throat> started to grind with that. It was actually quite surprising that the power difference between the Hitachi and the Bosch, we had no problem grinding on that uh, welds. It ended up with three minutes, 30 seconds until we started to lose power. We checked the battery, it was completely dead, put the grinder back down for about 10 more seconds and it cut out and it was done. So that time is what surprised us. We then moved on to the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee has been kind of our go-to. We use it in the shop all the time. Love this grinder. Again, it surprised us. We got three minutes, 30 seconds out of it with a 5.0 amp hour battery. All the power, same as the Bosch. Uh, these two are on the same level, which is awesome. Congratulations, Bosch. I mean, I think this is one of your better grinders to stand up to the Milwaukee fuel. And it was great. The Milwaukee just kicked through it, but it surprised us at three minutes, 30 seconds. So we then thought, let's go to the DeWalt. The DeWalt is on a whole new level. If you're looking at the B-roll, you should be able to see that the sparks are even at a different color, they're at a different angle. They're pushing out and being thrown against the wall, which you can't see, which is farther than some of the other ones that throw it. But again, at that three minute, 30 second mark, we get a lag of power and we look at the battery, it's dead. Put it down for 10 more seconds, that's all we got. The runtime on this, basically brushing for one minute, grinding for two minutes on the Hitachi or three minutes, 30 seconds on the other models is a short runtime. That was just blowing us away as to what these grinders are capable of doing. So we wanted to move on to cutting. Now in all these tests, we use the same Bosch grinders before or cutting discs now. Uh, so everybody has a new cutting disc. We're cutting the same piece of steel and we thought let's test the time going through. Pretty simple test. We started out again with the Hitachi and the Hitachi cut through 
to this piece of metal in 23 seconds. Not a bad time. It didn't seem like it anyway we're going through. There was two cuts and that was an average. We moved on to the Bosch. In one cut was 18.3 seconds. The other cut was 17 seconds. So we're at about a 17 and a half second cut. We moved on to the Milwaukee. One cut was 17 seconds and one cut was 18 seconds. So again, 17 and a half. And then we moved on to the DeWalt, which had two cuts, one at 12 seconds, one at 11 seconds. So there's a significant difference in the amount of RPM that's being held in all these units. The Milwaukee is rated at 8,500 RPMs for no load and the rest of them are all rated at 9,000 RPMs for no load. So these tests were absolutely crazy in what you would call runtime if you were using them consistently to grind welds and or cut time if you wanted to cut something very fast and set them back down. Now that's not the only thing that differentiates these two. The Bosch and the Hitachi do not have brakes on them. The DeWalt and the Milwaukee both have a brake, so you can set these units down safely. Now, the Milwaukee is the one that seems to work the best with the brake. Our DeWalt seems to have a very slow brake on it. From there, the guards on them, moving them around, the Bosch is easy to move, but very tight. So you really have to push in this little pin and try to move that guard. The Hitachi has a cam lock on it, which is okay, but sometimes it's hard to lock it in different positions, especially with gloves on. The DeWalt has a little push button that you push in and can rotate it around. Works good, but sometimes it's hard to get your finger inside there. And the Milwaukee by far has a little lever on the outside that you can go back and forth. By far the easiest to use. These Grinders are great. We love battery operated grinders and use them in our shop all the time. But I never realized that we were only getting approximately four minutes of runtime out of them. But we don't use them in that fashion for the most part in the shop. If I think back a couple times, I can remember using a grinder pretty hard for a while and then going, huh, dead battery, must not have been fully charged, throwing another battery in it and going. We don't think about it, but when you really think about four minutes of runtime doing a solid grinding job that's all you're getting it's kind of sad but at the same point these things are very useful not having a cord's good being able to get out and simply cut something not have to drag anything with you that's awesome so i hope this video helps you out seeing a little bit more of the power that you're going to get from this new bosch there's going to be some different ways of tracking this and we're going to come out and show you that in future videos so thanks for your time. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Look out for some new giveaways that we got coming. They're gonna be awesome. And also follow us on social media. Have a great day.